Yes, gang. That's right. That's right. It's <coughs> Poppy's other workshop. Hey, Poppy here. I'm in the computer room. This is at Kimber Zillick, number two. Hey, Kimber, how you doing, man? Uh, I see that you're starting to have the skull sweat over the uh, head on that milling machine. It seeming like you might buy a Bridgeport head to put on it. I think that would be a good idea. And it sounds like you're sweating. How are you going to get that old South Bend head off? Right? Without hurting yourself or breaking it? Why worry? You're replacing it. Right? Let's go. Bye-bye. Hand wheel? That's a nice hand wheel. Put it on the bench. Knob? Mm, I don't like that knob. Garbage. Motor shroud? <laughs> Garbage. Motor, piece by piece. Unbolted. Oh, there's a wire. Snip, snip. Garbage. Ooh. Nice lever. Bench. Take that South Bend head apart piece by piece and do the selection process. The mechanical selection process. Garbage reuse. Okay. That will make removing that South Bend milling machine head much easier. You won't hurt yourself. Less chance of hurting yourself. Uh, I used to say that no YouTube machines can hurt themselves. But this last year has proven me wrong. Anyway, make that South Bend head apart piece by piece. Good parts that you can use on almost any machine put over here. Really, really nice parts that take a bunch of work, but they're really, really nice parts over here. The rest in the garbage. Now, if you just make an adapter ring so the Bridgeport head can go to that south bend ram you'll lose the nod if you got that geared knuckle from goes from the back of the bridgeport head into that bridgeport uh, overarm allows you to turn the crank and the head will nod controllably, so you're not fighting it, right? If you get that knuckle, not the uh, two, not the, uh, the ram, just the knuckle, you could put the head on sideways. Then you will have your angularity in two directions again. It'll look funny, but it'll work. The other possibility is you get the bridge port head and the overarm. And when you get home, you chop like an inch behind where that knuckle goes in. Then you take the uh, south bend over arm and chop out the very end of that. You graft those two parts together. Then 
Better just get rid of that South Bend and get a bridge. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kimber. I can't help it. I think there's an important reason the guys are telling you avoid it. You know, I was asking, did they mean all of them or this particular one? After looking what you've been going through, I think it's all of them. Okay. Or you fix that South Bend. From the sound of that head, and what you were talking about today, you're talking about you got to machine the gears so they got a square periphery of the teeth. Oh. You can machine them damn gears. And you can make spacers, bushings. The bearings in that head sound bad. Really bad. Like, replace them. Bad. Ill predictor bearings for that South Bend milling machine head are either not existing or not enough money in the universe to buy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to curse you, but I'm afraid that's what's going to be. Can't fix South Bend. Don't have a bridge port. Yeah. Franken machine. But on the on second thought, that's going to put your spindle, you know, like so far out. Beyond the table, when the table's all the way out. It's quite a conundrum, isn't it? Uh, I don't really know what to advise. But I'm going to watch. <coughs> good luck, Kimber, and good night from California.